Hi everyone, this is Nathan Tracy here at OFC 2025 in San Francisco. I'm president of the OIF and I also work with TE Connectivity. I wanted to take a few minutes today and talk to you about the work OIF is doing on energy efficient interfaces, where we're enabling next generation architectures as well as uh, working on the protocols, the communication protocols, to uh, enable those both optical and copper interfaces to operate in a more power efficient manner, which is very critical for next generation AI and machine learning fabrics. And as a matter of fact, one of the things that OIF is doing to provide industry leadership is we're hosting a 400 gig workshop coming up April 15th and 16th here in Santa Clara, California. And so I encourage all of you to register uh, for that workshop using this QR code. It's open to the public and come and join us as we explore some of the challenges and some of the possible paths for next generation signaling such as 400 gigabits per second per differential pair. So let me show you some of the demos we have here at the show today. So here we're showing three different ELSFP demos. ELSFP stands for external small form factor pluggable laser and it's a faceplate pluggable module that ho houses a laser which then provides that laser light for co-package optical modules in a co-packaging architecture. So you can see that we have three different demos and everyone is uh, an operating demo and specifically we're using the output from all three of these ELSFP modules to go to an actual functioning co-package optics module, which is in our CEI 112 gig demo. So be sure and see the video to get more information on that CEI 112 gig demo, where we're talking about um, RTLR, which is half retimed, or LPO, which is a fully unretimed optical link. This is uh, a demo station where we're showing the um, technology that's been enabled for inspecting ELSFP modules and ELSFP hosts. So, you know, ELSFP is a specific form factor and therefore it needed some specific um, inspection equipment developed and that's what you're seeing here. So here in this static display, we're showing conceptually how a artificial intelligence machine learning data center is architected, showing the density of the switching that's required, and then showing some of the implementations of different uh, line cards. In this one that you're looking at now, we have an external laser providing light to near package and co-package optics. And then right beside it, we're showing near package copper connectivity and co-package copper connectivity. Here we're going to a conventional pluggable IO. And in the case of the co-package optics, we're coming out to high density optical connectors. Some of these, here we're showing uh, a kind of a 3D visual of, of some of the architectures that are used in these GPU type of uh, die assemblies. So the stacked types of constructions that are used for uh, routing and uh, escape uh, signaling to get to the densities of these types of things. Over here, we're showing very similar a GPU based architecture, but here it's in the uh, PCIe chem form factor. So these are pluggable modules that are showing static mockups of a GPU. And here we're, we're showing uh, a, a near package copper and a near package optic connectivity and a co package copper and a co package optic connectivity. So very similar to the last one that we looked at, except being done in. Um, the PCIe pluggable form factor. And then more illustration of the type of fiber optic density that is required for these types of fabrics that are used for both front end switching, scale up and scale out switching. So density is one of the key requirements of this marketplace. And that's what we're showing here. So th again, this is where the OIF is working on how to enable these next generation fabrics 
but most importantly, to operate in a more energy efficient way. Thanks for visiting us today.